This video is going to show you how to set up life sign in Ableton just to get it um, get it recognized the new life sign version and to get it on a track. So I'm going to open up uh, Ableton Live 11 suite here. The same process is going to be true for other versions of Ableton. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we can actually find the life sign plugin. So we're going to do command comma. This could also be uh, command uh, or uh, control comma, sorry, on a Windows. And we're going to go to, this gets you into the preferences, and we're going to go to our plugins tab. Now on the plugins tab, make sure you have audio units, uh, VSTs, VST3 plugin folders on. And we're going to do a rescan. And depending on how many actual units that you have, audio units or VST3s, this could take a while, but I don't have very many, so that rescan was pretty quick. And now if we click on our plugins over here in our sidebar, we'll notice under VST3, there's an iConnectivity folder, and you can see life sign here. And the same is true for the audio units. We can go to iConnectivity, and we'll see life sign in here. So if we wanted to load, say, the VST3, all we need is an audio track. We're just going to grab life sign. And we're going to drag it right on. So the new life sign plugin here, we have uh, different frequencies. We can take down the volume and we can mute and unmute. So we just have our frequency knob, our volume knob, and our mute button. And it's a pretty simple little plugin, uh, but it works. So what we want to do is we want to, if you have your Play Audio 12 connected, go Command Comma, make sure under Audio we have our Play Audio 12 connected here. And if we click on the output, oops, if we click on the output config, we need to make sure that uh, channel 13 is a mono output here. It doesn't matter if you send it to channel 14, it's just not going to do anything. Um, so we'll leave that. So right here on this audio channel where we've put life sign, we would want to go to audio out to. Instead of master, we're going to pick external out. And we're going to pick audio channel 13. And now that would arm our auto fail over on our play audio 12. 